Is Adrian Avina overrated or underrated? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Again, thank you. Thank you to all the new members, all the new subscribers, all the people who comment nonstop. I appreciate it. I try to reply to all the comments. And I really do appreciate it and really respect your opinion and your take. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be because it's free. So click the button, become part of the team and family. In this day and age, there are a lot of underrated anglers and overrated anglers. And I thought it might be fun to do a video series about this. And the first one that came to mind was Adrian Avina. Now you can hear my stats and my opinion and then comment below and tell me if you think he's overrated or underrated. Adrian's been a professional angler for 12 years. His career earnings are over $1 million. He has 20 top 10s with three wins. He's got one win with the BPT and two wins with FLW years ago when he was on that series. He's attended one Bassmaster Classic and three Red Crest Championships. And in 2023, he won the Cayuga event for the Bass Pro Tour. Adrian started fishing in 2009 in the Northern Opens, where he finished 132nd in his first tournament. But in his third tournament, he finished third, and I think he might have been a co-angler. He was an FLW angler, then went to Bass in 2016, and then when the BPT, BPT started, he became a Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour angler, and that was in 2019. He was introduced to the outdoors by his father. He's a New Jersey-born boy, I say that nicely, and he is really a fantastic angler. He has averaged a 23rd place finish in Angler of the Year points over the last six years. And I have to read it, in 2019 he was 37th, in 2020 he was 15th, in 2021 he was 30th, in 2022 he was 12th, in 2023 he was 23rd, and in 2024 he finished 19th in Angler of the Year points. And he's been consistent over these six years on the BPT. His sponsors include Tackle Direct, Abu Garcia, Berkeley Suzuki, EcoStar, Gruden's, Miller Tech, Real Tree Fish, Bass Cat La Ranch, New Threads, and Designer Wraps. And he's in that group of roommates that are absolutely ridiculous. And that group is Jacob Wheeler, Dustin Cannell, Mark Daniels Jr., and Adrian. And when those four guys get together, they are consistently doing well in the tournaments. And being part of that four is something any angler would want to be a part of learning from the best or learning how to do things correctly like those guys do only helps you when you're fishing professionally but does it make him overrated or underrated i believe adrian is one of those guys that's very not shy but he's a quiet angler you don't ever hear any controversy about him he's always consistently a good fisherman a good professional bass fisherman he's always nice to fans he's always good with talking and media and his, he has a lot of followers. He has over 40,000 Instagram followers and almost 12,000 YouTube followers, unless my numbers are wrong. And when you have the stats that he has with the career earnings and the Angler of the Year points and all of it together, is he overrated or underrated? And that's what I want to know from you. For me, I think he's underrated. And I don't think he gets enough credit or respect, and I think he deserves it. And even though he and I have only met once or twice, He's always been very humble and nice and good. And I really do think he's an underrated angler. But it's not up to me. I want to know what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Should I continue with the next one? Because the next one's going to be Dakota Ebear. Thank you. Cheers and tight lines.